Hello. So this is a this is kind of a fun technique to get some uh, look development and lighting styles down quite quickly by using your environment map, by basically painting onto your environment map. So here I have imported a model from uh, Oculus Medium. Sorry, Adobe Medium now, and. It's looking kind of bland, so let's go ahead and add some dramatic lighting to it. Now, instead of starting to add various area lights, point lights, all that kind of stuff, we're just going to add a UV sphere. So with Shift A, Mesh, UV sphere. I'm also going to scale it up quite a lot as well, just so we've got the camera in there too. Um, and while we're at it, I'm just going to shift here. Uh, uh, sorry, tab into edit mode, and I'm going to calculate normals inside, that's Alt N. Okay, and there is our sphere. So let's switch to object, set up this new material, call it environment, or enviro for short, or enivro. Uh, and while we're here, we'll switch principal BSDF to emission and create a new texture by going to image texture new 2 case good I'm gonna call this enviro oh my god <laughs> enviro uh, we're gonna uncheck alpha and check 32 bit because we want that high dynamic range okay and let's just join these two up cool as expected um, but now what we need to do is we need to switch again from our shader window here from to from object to world and on our background we need to add an environment texture uh, yeah and mimic what we did there in the object shader okay we're good um, now all we need to do really is go into texture mode and just test our orientation is correct. So if we go into texture paint, um, let's just check that our texture slot is good. Cool. Um, now let's take a particularly strong color here. Crank up the strength. We've got it on add mode. That's great. Uh, I'm just going to quickly look through, see the orientation of things. Okay, so that's looking forward. So I'm going to put a dot here, just right where it's looking forward. Sometimes this needs to update. Okay, that is being backlit. All right, so we need to do something here with our coordinates. So I'm just going to do Control T to add mapping and texture node. And as I've done it before, I know that this whole thing is kind of flipped, so let's go and scale minus one on our Y. Cool, so now we look like we have a very front lit blue light thing going on. Um, so let's just switch to mix. And I'm going to change from blue to black. I'm just going to get rid of that because that was just a test. Um, cool, now we can start painting in our light and getting a feel for a sort of you know a scene that would be nice so I'm gonna switch back to add and I'm gonna go with let's go with a sickly kind of green because you know um, I'm gonna go around the back and I'm just gonna paint a line oof nice it's already looking pretty gross let's get further back it's looking quite cool. Although I do like the blue eyes, so maybe I'll uh, I'll mimic that in the back a little bit. Kind of, kind of strong. Let's turn it down. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe like a red, some kind of nice red rim light this side. Let's go for something like that. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Cool. 
cool. Let's have that spill into the background a little bit as well. Now, maybe a little bit of um, underlighting, but maybe let's make it a little bit more neutral, a little bit warm neutral. Mm. Anyway, you know, you kind of, you get the general idea. As you can see, it's super quick to develop an, a lighting look and really fun as well. And the result you have from your painting is a normal 32-bit echo rectangular HDRI. So you can export that as some high dynamic range image and reuse it whenever you see fit.